Okay, so about to start a new week. It's the end of the weekend and I had a couple seconds, so I thought I'd share them with you and get some feedback from you. When I'm up on stage a lot of times, I ask, what was the thing that you were doing when you were six or seven years old that made time stand still? I love hearing the answers. So I want you to think about that for yourself. What was it that you were doing at six or seven years old? What I've discovered is that the people that gave me their activities, their favorite things to do, their favorite places to be when they were six or seven, and they were still finding a way to incorporate that in their life. They were the happier people in the room. I know for me, when I was six and seven years old, I was usually seeking out some animal to play with. We didn't have pets, so I wasn't allowed, so I would borrow someone else's. Uh, or I would be outside, like I am now, and sketching. So I actually pulled these out because these were the things that were my favorite toy whenever I was six or seven years old. I was drawing all the time. And when I was the least happy in my life was when I wasn't celebrating my creativity at all. So for me, I can see it in my own life. If I wasn't doing what I was doing at six or seven years old, which is being outside in nature, surrounded by animals of some sort and drawing, I'm usually not all that happy. So what about you? What were you doing at six or seven years old? I mean, at that point, you know what your strengths are pretty much and, and you know what your passions are. In other words, you just say it's your favorite things. So you kind of know what you want to be surrounding yourself with. Nobody has told you that you can't yet. Nobody said that there was nothing that you couldn't do, six or seven. You find out maybe a little later, right? So what were you doing at six or seven? Are you still incorporating something like that in your life right now? And do you think it makes you happier?